These are the two trucks, guys, that have been protecting Shots by Hill's truck. Austin is an absolute legend. These two guys have been protecting his truck for the last seven days. Truck yeah, brother. Truck yeah. I've been trying to fucking link with you for everybody. Yo, CD, I'm, man. I'm here today, man. So. Boys and truck. girls, the man, the myth, the lesson. Yeah. Shots by a hill. What's truck on, yeah, guys? brother. Truck fucking yeah, baby. Channel's got over a million impressions Holy shit. in the last 48 hours. That's amazing, say what you bro. want to say, bro. Yeah, I just want to thank everybody out here that has continued to show support for this convoy. Um, all the people that are still here fighting for what these truckers are fighting for. Nobody realizes that these truckers that have been here since day one, they have wives, they have kids, they have families at home that they have put on the line. They are sitting here freezing their ass off in their trucks. They are sitting here on the streets, guys. They're parked in a one spot on the road. They haven't seen their families. Some of these guys are older gentlemen with wives and kids that don't even have FaceTime or Facebook Messenger to even video call their wives or see their families, guys. Um, these people are out here putting everything on the line, not just for their families, but for all of us on the streets. And uh, man, I can't, I can't say it enough. I can't stress enough on how much these truckers are doing for us. Um, I try and ask all the, I've almost talked to every single trucker in this convoy from one end of this convoy to the other. And I ask every single one of them, what do you guys need? And the same answer every time is, we just need new faces on the streets. It doesn't matter if you guys come for an hour or come for a day or come for a week, just show up, show your support, continue what you guys are doing. And uh, yeah, man, I just, I can't stress it enough, man. There's, there's a lot of crazy people out here that are super nice. Um, you have a lot of crazy residents that live in Ottawa that are going out of their way to vandalize the truckers. I actually talked to a trucker that's parked up down the street from here. He said uh, the one night a bunch of people tried to pull him out of his truck window. They tried to beat him up. They told him to get the fuck out of his city. Apologize for my language, no, guys. No, we're all good. We're all and, good. Uh, you know, I felt terrible for the guy. The guy was so scared that he disassembled his door handle from the outside so nobody could get into his truck. He strapped his door shut to his seat with his seatbelt. And uh, guys, it's fucking sickening, the shit that's going out here. I went out of my way. I went and bought this guy a dash cam. Thanks to the people in the comments down below that sent me the money for it. Um, he's got a dash cam now in his truck. We bought him a Bluetooth speaker because he said he wanted to pump the music so fucking loud to piss off the residents that he wants to blast that shit from the top of his truck day in and day out. This guy, every day I see him, he's on my shoulder. He's crying to me, guys. He, I, I told him his wife, uh, they have a younger kid. He downloaded Instagram so he could add me. Um, we're gonna video call his kid and his wife later. We're gonna go meet up with the guy at the truck so he can see his family face to face. And uh, you know, guys, I'm just, I'm out here doing what I can to show as much love and as much support as I can. Um, in the last week that I've been here, thanks to the people that have been in my live and all the people that have donated, I have handed out over $7,000 worth of stuff to these truckers out here, including cash and uh, foam mattresses for them to sleep in, speakers, clothing. Um, I ran into a family that has been here in a pickup truck since day one. They have three little kids with them. I got them coloring books, I got them crayons, I got them socks, I got them clothes for their kids, I got them clothes for their parents, and uh, you know, this shit wouldn't be possible without the people out here all over the world, guys. I'm getting messages from people that live in Hong Kong, Australia, Mexico, um, California, guys. Like, we have made a movement all over the world. If you walk these streets, you will see Truck Yeah t-shirts everywhere. You will see Truck Yeah trending everywhere. This has started from day one when I got here on Saturday last week. Truck Yeah, brother! Truck Yeah from the top of my fucking lungs. I lost my voice for three days, guys because it was nothing but screaming and shouting on these streets the whole time. And uh, like I said, guys, I can't stress enough how amazing everybody is in this world from, you know, from being in this convoy to being at home and supporting this convoy. I ran into a gentleman out here. He's a younger guy with his girlfriend. This guy told me he found me on Instagram and if it wasn't for me, he would still be sitting at home in his living room, believing everything he's seen on the news. He came out here to see for himself. Now this guy is prepping meals at home. He's bringing them out to the truckers out here on the streets, guys. And uh, yeah, it, it leaves me speechless, guys. Like I'm just ranting, I'm getting out what I can because this is everything that's built up inside of me. And uh, you know, it's amazing what everyone's doing. You know, you got a lot of guys out here streaming the shit that's happening. And you have a lot of guys when they're on stream, they just focus on that. Thanks for the $20 donation. Thanks for the $50 donation. Thanks for the super donation. 
You don't have those guys walking around showing everything they see on the streets. I'm out here day in and day out. I'm showing everything that's on the streets. I'm showing everything people are talking about. I'm not out here worrying about the donations that I get, guys. I go on my phone after I'm done a live. I see the donations that came in, and right away I go to an ATM machine, I go to a Walmart, I go to a Canadian Tire, and I spend all that money that I get on the truckers that are out here putting everything on the line so that we can get our freedom back and we can drop these fucking mandates and we can go back to normal lives and our kids that are young they will grow up with a normal life again because putting a mask on a child is child abuse i do not agree with that i have three nephews of my of my own two years old four years old and ten years old and when i see my four-year-old nephew with a mask on that shit makes me sick guys so i'm doing everything i can i will be here until this convoy ends when these guys go home and all mandates are lifted that's when i will take my truck and i will go back home i've been here seven days i've been away from my family i've been away from my animals i've been away from my nephews guys no friends i spent my first five nights out here by myself um sleeping in my truck to sleeping in hotel rooms I'm walking down the streets alone from 12 o'clock in the afternoon to 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm talking to myself because I have no one to talk to out here. Um, I've met a lot of amazing people online. Um, we're actually on live right now, guys. We got 163 people watching us from all over the world. And uh, yeah, man, like the people out here are so genuine. They're so sweet. They're so kind hearted. And uh, you know, I, I'm glad that I can sit here and say that I'm a part of history. And I'm glad I can sit here and say that I've been here since day one. And uh, guys, I'm not fucking going anywhere. My truck has been parked truck here. Yeah, brother. And that's truck a big yeah. truck yeah, brother. And a truck yeah, sister to anybody watching right now. I'm not going anywhere, guys. Catch me here. Come down. Find my truck. I got a fuck Trudeau banner right across the windshield. Take pictures with it. Whatever you guys want to do. You know, I get a lot of messages telling me, I hope your truck gets vandalized. Your truck's going to get vandalized. Guys, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do to my truck because I don't give two fucks, man. My truck's out here to stay. My truck's not going anywhere. And if you guys see it, take a picture with it, post it on Instagram, and tag me in it, guys. Because seven days later, I'm still here, and I'm not going anywhere, guys. So if you want to meet me, find my truck. If I'm not at my truck, shoot me a message on Instagram. We can meet up. I'll shake your hand. I'll hug you guys. I don't give a shit. Whatever you guys want to do, you guys come and find me. Don't be scared. I'll be here. Absolute legend. Much love, brother. Guys, Shots by Hill, Austin. This guy is an absolute legend. He's from Durham. Thank you so much for fucking protecting Austin's truck, buddy. He's a legend. He's doing what the, the media can't do. He's a legend. Thank you so much for what you're doing. He's a beautiful soul. Beautiful soul. So are you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that.